Hi everyone, today we're going to look at our normal colon cells, how they've grown, and we're going to split them today. So we're going to compare the color change there compared to our fresh media. As you can see, it's a little bit orange compared to the fresh media. So the pH is changing the color there. So now we're going to remove this old media, wash it, put trips in, which will lift the cells, then leave it in the incubator for about 5-10 minutes. But before that, let's have a look at the cells under the microscope. So as you can see, the cells are growing well. They're about 50% confluent, which is fine. So I'm going to split them into two of the same flask. the old media, then we're going to wash it with PBS, it's 2 mil. the cells, remove, and two mil of trypsin, and we're going to put in the incubator for the cells to lift from the bottom of the flask. We'll check it in a few moments. So now we're going to check our flask, if our cells have lifted from the bottom of the flask. So what we want to see is our cells moving around and we're going to check under the microscope. It's been about five minutes. So when we look at under the microscope, we can see that the cells are no longer elongated. Now they're globular or circular because they have lifted off. So when we transfer them and leave them overnight, they will start to take shape again. Okay, so now we're going to add fresh media to neutralize what's going on right now so that we can spin them down in the centrifuge. We've added two milliliters of trypsin, so we're going to add two milliliters of fresh media. So it's equal volumes. Okay, so now 
you can see that it's color change because there's strips in, in there. So we're gonna transfer this into a centrifuge tube. Using a five mil pipette. Make sure we get all the cells from the surface. Okay, take everything. There's about four million there. We're gonna centrifuge this down. So we have to balance, we have to balance our tube with another tube of the same volume, about four mils. Yep. So we're gonna close the centrifuge. And our rotor is the 4400. Yep. RPM, we're going to do about 1300. And we'll do it for about seven minutes, which is about average. Temperature, about room temperature. Press start. So our centrifuge has stopped after uh, we've centrifuged our cells. So now we're going to take our cells out there at the bottom there in a small white pallet. We're going to discard this and then we're going to split it into two T25 flasks. Now we're going to put four mils into each of these flasks and then put the cells into the flasks as well. So we're going to put four into each. Fresh EMEM media. And then we're going to put two mil into here and then take one from each of here and put one mil into each one. Two mil again of fresh media. doing is we're just pipetting up and down to resuspend the cells evenly. We do this about five, ten times depending on the pellet and then we take everything. We decrease the speed of the gun so we can put one into each. So that one. And then the rest of that one mil into the fresh media. Now we're gonna look under the microscope to make sure that the cells have been properly transferred into each flask. As you can see, the media is nice and pink.
Okay, so now we're gonna put our flasks into the 37 degree incubator, 5% carbon dioxide, and we're gonna leave it for about two to three days, and we'll come back and check it. So that's it.